We have always seen the bitumen applications around us. Interestingly, more than about 250 bitumen applications have been identified in the world. The world's bitumen consumption is estimated at 102 million tons per year, and around 85% of all the produced bitumen is used for road constructions. Not everybody knows how bitumen is created in the nature, how it is extracted from the oil, what the classifications are, as well as the usages of each type. Stay with us to become familiar with the bitumen types and classifications. In general, bitumen is divided into two categories, natural and refined. Here is the question, how is the natural bitumen formed? To answer this question, we need to go back in time when the natural bitumen first created. Fossil fuels formed during the Carboniferous period about 360 million years ago. At that time, the lands were mostly covered by swamps and ponds in which many creatures were living. Over the years, with the accumulation of sediments on these creatures' corpses, the conditions of fossil fuels formation became possible. These conditions include high pressure, lack of oxygen, and high temperature, all of which cause the fermentation and chemical change of organic molecules after a while. As a matter of fact, high pressure and temperature above 50 degrees Celsius result in the conversion of the organic substances to kerogen, bitumen or oil. Presently, most of the world's natural bitumen reservoirs can be found in Canada, Venezuela, and Oman. Although large natural reservoirs of bitumen exist in many parts of the world, most of the bitumen produced in the world is derived from crude oil. It may be interesting to know that natural bitumen extraction costs more and is more complicated than the refinery bitumen. Now, let's see how the refinery bitumen is produced. The process of separating bitumen from oil begins in the atmospheric distillation column, followed by a heating process in which the crude oil evaporates. The vapor ascends, cools down, and becomes liquid again. The distillation trays in the column will enhance the process of liquid separation, considering the molecular weight. The heavier parts of the oil that remains at the bottom of the distillation column is the raw and basic substance for bitumen production, which further processes are required to become what the consumer needs. In the final stage, the vacuum bottom is transferred to the vacuum distillation column to separate the lighter petroleum from the heavier one by blowing hot water steam into it. The outcome of this process is a type of bitumen which has more asphaltine and molecular weight with higher penetration grade. Various grades of bitumen including viscosity and penetration grades are among the most widely used types of bitumen manufactured from the blowing process. The remaining substance of the mentioned process is called a straight run bitumen. This material will be finally sent to other containers for further processing and conversion to oxidized bitumen, polymer modified bitumen, or other types of bitumen. According to what we have mentioned, only heavy oil has the capability of producing bitumen. For this reason, light oils are not capable of producing bitumen. There are different types of refinery bitumen. It's good to know about how each of these types is made and what differences, applications, and details they have. Stay tuned to get to know more about different types of bitumen in our future videos. Having years of experience in the petrochemicals and bitumen industry, Infinity Galaxy is trying to contribute to increasing public awareness about petroleum products by providing comprehensive and easily understandable information. Visit infinitygalaxy.org for more information.